Good morning, my word nerds. How are you this morning? Happy Wednesday. Yay, we're halfway there, you guys. Thank you for being here on the replay. My replay viewers mean the world to me. So thank you so very much for a few minutes of your day. Good morning, Smartphone. So for those of you who don't already know, my name is Christine. I am a member of the Perry Girls. And each and every weekday morning, I bring to you a new and amazing word of the day for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound smarticles. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning, John. All right, you guys, are you ready? Have we had some fun so far this week? Did I pick some really big fun words this week, right? We had Schlockmeister on Monday, and yesterday we had Rip Snorter. Um, so today we've got pleonasm or pleonism, but it's pronounced, it's, it's spelled asm, so I'm pronouncing it pleonasm. P-L-E-O-N-A-S-M, pleonasm. What do you think? Big fun word, all right? You want to know what a pleonasm is? It is a, it is a noun, okay? Um, and it is the use of more words than necessary to express an idea. Pleonasm. So when you when something is a fact, it's true, right? So why say true fact? If something is a gift, I probably didn't pay for it, right? So why say free gift? It's a gift or it's free. But if you say free gift, you're just restating the same thing twice. Same thing with true fact. You're saying the same thing twice, right? So that's what a pleonasm is. So again, pleonasm is P-L-E-O-N-A-S-M, pleonasm, and it's the use of more words than necessary to express an idea. Now, this is the same thing as men or women or anyone going down a rabbit hole and they're trying to explain something to someone, right? If you have to say six different ways what it is that you mean, you're either not explaining it very well or the person is just not going to get it. So maybe you should show them. Maybe they're not an auditory learner. Maybe they're a visual learner. So maybe you need to show them. Maybe you need to hand it to them so they can touch it. Maybe they're a, a, a tactile. There's a word for it. I can't think of it off the top of my head. And I'm the word nerd. Ah! Um, but people need to touch it in order to learn something. So if you're just trying to talk to somebody and you're talking, you're talking, and they're not getting it, maybe they're not that kind of learner. But a pleonasm doesn't usually come into play when you're trying to teach people. It, it's just it's just the use of too many words when you're trying to express an idea or a thought, okay? So that's what a pleonasm is. Now, if you're a writer, you use pleonasms all the time because that's how you express yourself. You don't want to just say, you know, Bob gave Sue a gift. You want to say, Bob poured his heart out to Sue in the form of a free gift to show his love for her. That's using an awful lot of words to express a thought, but that's what writers do. That's why it's called creative writing and not just blah writing. So it's okay. Pleonasm is not a bad thing if you're a creative writer, if you're in marketing, if you're in advertising. These are all things PR, right? This is all good stuff. Pleonasms are part of the job. It's, it's expected. So it's okay. Totally okay. Pleonasm is not a bad thing. I just wanted you guys to know what it was. So I added it to my big fun word list of the week. So um, we've got a couple more really, even next week. I've, uh, this, this month's words, you guys, I didn't go with the Christmas theme. I picked some really big, hard, but really fun and interesting words for you. So again, to recap this week, we had Schlockmeister on Monday. We had Rip Snorter yesterday. And today it's Pleonasm. P-L-E-O-N-A-S-M. Pleonasm meaning the use of more words than necessary to express an idea. So there is your word of today. Use it, don't abuse it, have fun with it, make yourself sound smarticles. And I will see you again tomorrow. Until then, be good to yourselves, be good to one another, and I will see you very, very soon. Mwah. Bye now.